everyone. Welcome to First Look for Thursday, September 6th. I'm Kelly Wallace in New York. And what we thought we'd do today is give you a behind-the-scenes look at how all this coverage from Iraq and from Syria tonight is being coordinated back here in New York. We thought we'd take you to the fishbowl. This is really our nerve center where all our senior producers are. And we thought we'd talk to the one person who is coordinating all of the coverage from here. And his name is Chris Dinan, one of our senior producers who has been working nonstop since Friday, who will be very happy when the weekend arrives. <laughs> yes, yes. Chris, how's it going so far? Uh, I think the shows have been spectacular. They've been really uh, focused and interesting and um, covered a lot of ground and done it in a very um, compelling way, I think. Absolutely. Now, tonight in Syria, Katie will be anchoring from Damascus, Syria. What, what can we expect tonight? Well... Damascus, the oldest uh, continuously inhabited uh, city in the world, 3,000 years before the time of Christ, she'll be spending her time telling us a little bit about um, the politics of the region and how important it is that uh, and the key role that Syria plays in Iraq and the Middle East. There's um, obviously Syria's come under tremendous scrutiny for being what some people consider a magnet for extreme groups. And so she will talk to the president of Syria in an exclusive interview to discuss all the things that are relevant to us. He, uh, he was pressed by Katie on uh, the borders, the border issue and the porousness of it and the insurgents that uh, continually cross back and forth that uh, have created such problems for the U.S. military. And uh, I think his response will surprise uh, a number of people because he certainly uh, did not shy away from an answer. Very interesting. Now, of course, also Chief Foreign Correspondent Lara Logan has uh, been covering the story for a long time as well. She's got a, a very interesting story on Iraqi special forces. What can you tell us about that? Well, we always hear about how the Iraqi security forces are incapable of taking over their own security at this moment. There's always hope that they will be able to. But what's happened in this case is that U.S. special forces have taken on a particular group of elite Iraqi troops, and Lara goes on a wild uh, overnight raid with them and uh, th what we see ultimately is that these forces are as good as any in the world and the Americans will exactly. attest to that. They say like they would go anywhere with these people because they're that good. That's so interesting. Now I want to give people just also a behind the scenes sense. I mean you might not be aware but since Friday all the material that has been shot in Iraq and now today in Syria is most of it, in, at least, is coming here to New York. It is your responsibility to, to do what with all of that, Chris? I mean, well, it's just to coordinate it all. Yeah. I mean, we have uh, enormous resources deployed to cover the story, and uh, the trip was very important to us and important to, uh, to Katie to do well, and I think we have. But in order to do that, there's uh, uh, camera crews and staff that have been sent out all over the region uh, gathering various elements. and. The real, the real important part is to make sure that it comes back and it gets on TV to the viewer in a comprehensive way that, is, that helps them understand the situation. Right. It's mm -hmm. been a bear, but it's, uh, it's definitely paid off. It sure has. One more day tomorrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> until, yeah. until you're celebrating heavily on the weekend. Right? I'm looking forward to the weekend. Exactly. All right. All right. Chris, thank you so much. Chris and the team, everyone doing a super job. Also, we should tell you, of course, there's other news here in the United States, including Republican Senator Fred Thompson, his long-awaited entry into the presidential race. Harry Smith will be covering that story and any other story going on here in the U.S. from New York. So a lot to cover tonight on another very important CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. I'm Kelly Wallace. We hope you'll be there. Check it out. Have a great day, everyone.